With me in the studio now is Capital Network's oil and gas analyst, Lionel Theron. Lionel, good afternoon, nice to see you. Good afternoon. We're talking Green Dragon Gas, it's been a busy week for them, a couple of announcements. And a reminder, before we uh, go into the detail for Lionel's full report, click on the I in the top right hand corner of the screen. So Lionel, a couple of uh, bits of news from them, one of them being getting the green light for the overall development plan for their GCZ block. Perhaps most significantly though, the agreement uh, that's been reached between Green Dragon and CNUC. Yes, um, GCZ is, uh, is not their main asset, but it still has about 30 BCF of 2P uh, gas reserves. So getting the approval for the, uh, <clears throat> the development plan is obviously a, a positive step. The most significant one, obviously, is the uh, agreement with uh, CUCBM, which is a subsidiary of, uh, of CNUC, and uh, they are their partners in uh, the two of the blocks. Uh, the GSS block and the GSN block. So GSS is the asset which has most of the reserves, about, uh, I believe, about 450 BCF of 2P reserves, whereas uh, GSN is a, is a smaller block, but still um, it's, a, it's, a, it's good to have signed that MOU and the number of agreements, which essentially conclude eight years of discussion uh, about those two blocks. And that's regarding the historical wells which were drilled uh, by CUCBM between 2007 and 2014, I believe. Uh, so obviously that's, uh, that's an important step as, as well. Clearly, what impact do you reckon these series of announcements will have on Green Dragon's valuation? Um, on, uh, on valuation, uh, I haven't changed um, the, the kind of the, the core value of the company, which stands at about 220p uh, at the moment, uh, because the RNS was not 100% clear on whether that had an immediate impact on uh, production or cash flow for that matter, but uh, I thought that was fairly covered uh, in my valuation. I think uh, from a purely a sentiment point of view, um, you know, concluding eight years of discussion and being fully focused now as two partners in the monetization of the gas reserves, I think that's an important step. And as I say, that should have a positive impact on, on sentiment. Now, I'm fully, I fully realize that there's a kind of a per perception gap between uh, what the, the company is really worth and what the market perceives it's worth. I mean, in the past, uh, the past year, the stock has gone down for from about 200p, or so two pounds to 60p. So it is a clearly uh, a gap has, has widened. And um, I believe uh, management should, um, you know, take uh, a cue of that and uh, improve their, their communication. I think the publication of the first half results, uh, which are forthcoming, I believe by the end of this month, uh, should be a good opportunity for management um, to inject, you know, some clarity into the communication and uh, provide maybe the market with a lot more um, hand-holding in terms of uh, what all those announcements mean uh, and how that translates into a potential valuation or cash flow because at the end of the day that's what cash flow that matters um, and um, and we'll see what you know could have only a positive impact on the share price. Lionel thanks very much for your analysis. A reminder for Lionel's full report click on the eye in the top right hand corner of your screen.